Is this the solution to all of our concealer creasing problems? Let's check it out. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and if you're new here I invite you to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. If you've been spending any time on social media you probably have seen the viral hack that's going around about getting the perfect concealer finish. This hack is being taught by Scott Barnes and if you don't know who Scott Barnes is, Scott Barnes is the makeup artist for JLo so I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about. So what this viral hack is, is the aquaphor that we place on the skin underneath the concealer and it supposedly is going to give you a very flawless, non-creasy, non-cakey concealer application. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that finding the perfect concealer is on my New Year's resolution because I really have troubles with that. I have very textured eyes. I have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles underneath my eyes because I'm 55 and you know that happens with age and as we get older finding a good concealer is not the easiest thing to do. So we're gonna give this a try. I've already done all my eye makeup so what I have left is my complexion makeup and my blush and bronzer and we're gonna go from there. So according to Scott Barnes's video we're gonna start with this aquaphor. This is a lip balm and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place this all over under the eye. It looks to me like he's applying a quite a liberal amount. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm trying to be very careful because most of you know that I do not usually put my eye makeup on before my complexion products because that's just not how I like to do it. Because I'm always afraid I'm gonna ruin <laughs> my eye makeup with complexion products. So I'm just putting this all under my eyes and I have quite a bit of wrinkly right here by my nose, which has recently just started and I think it's because I wrinkle my nose a lot. <laughs> but oh well, that's what happens. It's kind of like using a straw and you get vertical lines around your mouth. It's the same thing. He also puts it here in these folds right next to your nose that come down by your mouth. And I'm gonna put it right here too. I have a lot of marionette lines. So we're just gonna see what happens here. So I have that on. I'm just gonna tap it in a little bit just to make sure that there's not too much extra going on here. And it feels really good. It's quite thick actually. I'm gonna start out with using a color corrector, my Huda Beauty color corrector in the shade Cherry Blossom. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here to start. And I'm gonna take an Angie Hot and Flashy concealer brush and I'm just going to start blending that in. And he says to stipple it in. That's what I'm doing. I'm just stippling it. I'm not, do it. I'm not dragging it. I'm just stippling it all out. I'm gonna do the same for this side. I'm having a little problem getting into that little space there because my makeup is already on. And then I'm gonna take my fingertip and I'm just gonna do the same thing. The heat of my finger along with the corrector should just melt it and smooth it out on the skin. So far so good. For concealer, I'm going to use the Cali Ray Hideaway Moisturizing Concealer. This is in the shade Dawn. And we're just gonna add this underneath the eyes. And I'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here just because because I have the product here. And I'm gonna use another concealer brush and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna stipple this out underneath the eye. And I'm gonna blend this in around the other areas of my face. And he also recommended putting it above the top lip. So we're gonna see how that works with all those wonderful vertical lines that we get. And I'm also gonna take my finger again and I'm just gonna go back over that and just press it all in. Now it seems to be nice and smooth. I don't see any caking. It looks from a distance very, very nice. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. And what he also recommends is setting that under eye with some powder. I believe that he was using the Maybelline setting powder, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna make sure that there's very, very little on my brush. So I'm tapping his, well, that's got a big cloud. <laughs> So I'm just gonna tap any excess off so there's no poofing anymore. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly set this under my eyes. Now, you know I don't use powder, but I'm willing to give this experiment a little try how this lays down. I really like the way that it looks in the mirror. I don't see any caking going on. So I'm gonna move right along and put my foundation on. And I'm gonna be using the Natasha Denona High Glam Powder Foundation. Mine is in the shade RN3. And I just so love this stuff. I just absolutely can't get enough. 
So I'm just going to put this on the rest of my face. I'm going to avoid my under eye because those are already done. I love this foundation. I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to move on to bronzer. I'm going to use my Gucci bronzer in the shade 01. Give you another look at that. This is my favorite, favorite bronzer. And I'm going to use a BK Beauty 109 brush and tap into that. And I'm just gonna chisel out the cheekbones. This is such a good, good bronzer. My under eyes are still looking really, really nice from a distance. Usually by now I can see that it's starting to crease. Very nice, very nice compared to the usual. I think he's on to something, but I guess he would know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip back into that bronzer and I'm gonna warm up the forehead, gulped out my jawline. I was just thinking about the Scott Barnes video that I watched and the gal that he was putting makeup on and I thought to myself, you know, I've never had anybody do my makeup, ever. I did my own wedding makeup. I went to a spa one time where part of the package was a full makeover and I denied it. And the reason is, is because I wear false eyelashes and people can't get those on me anyway. So, I skipped that part, but wouldn't it be fun to have a famous makeup artist do your makeup? I would be very thrilled, actually. <laughs> For blush today, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Blush Palette called Glow Blush, and I'm just going to dip into all three of those shades. Tap that off and just add that, giving my cheeks a nice pop of color. This lays really, really well over this foundation. Add just a little bit up here, a little at the end of my nose, a little at the end of my chin. So nice, so pretty. So I'm taking a closer look at the under eyes and they're still looking very nice. I don't see any caking and any creasing going on, which is key. So I'm gonna go do my hair and when I get back, we'll see if it still holds up. I'll be right back. And I'm back. This hack from a distance makes your concealer look really, really nice. Really nice. Now, one thing I have to say is when we hear about these hacks and we hear about these tricks, it doesn't get rid of the wrinkles. It helps disguise the wrinkles. So if I'm to go up really close in my mirror, you can still see the wrinkles. Botox, surgery, that's the only thing that's going to get rid of those wrinkles. So this does not get rid of the wrinkles, but it does make the concealer lay so nice. I'm gonna see if I can get up here. My makeup isn't caked, it's nice and smooth, and from this distance, it looks really, really good. So just remember that. When you hear about new hacks, it's not a miracle work. It just helps with the makeup application. I'm really, really a fan of this. I think it looks really nice. I think you should give it a try, and if you like it, leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what they are. I want to know how this worked for you. I hope you're well wherever you are, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!